Welcome back friends. In the previous video, we are done with edit and update operation. So in this video, we are going to do the delete operation and this will be a 2 to 5 minutes task. Now without wasting any time, so let's get into the coding section. So let's go to the service here. So that is contact service. Uh, in the contact service, we are going to create a new function. So that is delete delete function and this will be asynchronous function and it will be having the doc id uh, so we need the doc id here and it will be of type string and here just we are going to return await and then just we are going to delete the document and it is taking only and only three parameters so one is database id collection id and document id that's it so we are done with this function here now let's go to the app and let's go to the main page and in the main page we have this table here so here what we are going to do so you can see that uh, we have a list of users here so here with the help of id so you can see that we can access the id with the help of dollar sign id here so here when we will have the id so what we are going to do so just we are going to filter those ones here now let's apply the on submit function uh, on click function here so on the click so we are going to handle uh, so here handle delete and here we are going to pass the id so that we are getting from data dollar sign id here so let's apply the delete function here handle delete and in this function we are getting the id here so we already have a contact service so here we don't need any type of loading for now so simply we are going to write a try catch here and here we are going to check if the document is deleted so then what we are going to do so we are going to so here we will be delete only and here we are not going to fetch any data again so because we don't want the user to set uh, to send the request again instead of that we are just going to filter all the users here so that is previous and it can be of type any and then here just we are going to filter all the documents with the id here so you can see that previous documents or filter so if id is not equal to the id given to this parameter so that's why we are getting this all the documents here and just we are going to return all the documents uh, let's see here we have the user so we have the documents dot map now we have the documents here we have the user here so from the here just we are going to set the documents in the instead of user documents and just we are going to return the documents here so instead of that i'm going to remove these all curly braces and just this single line arrow function will be there and we have to remove this one as well i think we don't need uh, we need it here and here in the catch if we have the error so just we are going to show the error and let's toast the error also something went wrong or we will be having the error dot message error dot message or something went wrong and here let's type will be any and here we are going to set the document that is successfully deleted just save this that's it so now let's go back here and let's try the delete operation so it is actually refreshing again as we have changed the main page now when i will click on this delete button so then here we are getting one error so that is previous dot document dot filter so we have this error and here instead of previous dot documents we just need the previous here just save this so we have already deleted the first data you can see that and it is also deleted from the database so let me show you again here you can see that it is deleted from the database 
so let's create one more user and here let it will be a test user and test at the test.com any like let the age will be 30 and just simply add the user here you can see that we have the test user now let's delete this test user 2 I'm going to delete this test user 2 you can see that successfully deleted and when I will go here and go back you can see that we have a test user we don't have any test user 2 here so this means that our delete operation is working successfully so for today this is enough and uh, in the next video uh, we are going to finalize our project and that will be the last video of this series if you have any queries please comment in comment section i will definitely respond to that please like subscribe and share this channel at last thanks for watching i will see you in the next video